yes, yes. Come on, we did it. Oh my god. Alright, season four finale, let's go. Now, some time ago, this explorer called Jim's Urbex made this video on this abandoned tunnel in Adelaide, which he claims to be the biggest abandoned tunnel in all of Adelaide. And um, it actually did pretty well. He also uploaded a version of his video to TikTok and he also uploaded a few pictures on Instagram, which is actually really cool. And people were asking questions where it could be and I'm just looking at all the comments on TikTok and there's literally hundreds of them and it just made me want to find it even more. And ever since the video got uploaded, I've asked Jim a couple of times on where the place may be and he essentially said no, which I respect because there's a bit of an unwritten rule about when it comes to finding these places. So you can't have to find them and you can't just openly give it away. So as a result, I ended up studying the hell out of that video, basically giving Jim a whole bunch of watch hours on YouTube to help become monetized. You're welcome, mate. And this has really been a test of my abilities as an explorer to track down this location. Now, I just want to clarify, I'm not bagging Jim's urbex in any way. Um, we've discussed on multiple locations many times and uh, he's actually a pretty chill guy. And um, he's actually made some amazing content before on uh, abandoned places around Adelaide. Um, so link in the description and go check out his channel. Yeah, let's get the shot on the road. Okay, so right now I've just made my way up a hill and I'm just taking a small break and uh, trying to get myself orientated around the area. So all I've got to really do is just make my way over the rest of this hill, make my way down and uh, find a, a creek, hopefully, and just keep following that down. And uh, yeah, and after I'll just hand rail it to the spot that we're headed to. Made to the water source now. All we're gonna do is just head right. Okay, so for the past, I don't know, 10 minutes, this bush behind me has just been absolutely condensed, filled with this top of plant called a bramble. It's a very uh, thick bush with lots of thorns growing on it. It has very lovely berries on it when it's safe to eat, but they're a mess to go through. I also just found a nice piece of granite. Just found it right here. Nice little trinket to take home. In the video that Jim Urbex put up, he found what looked like a pump, some terracotta pipe, and an old ruin. I may have passed it because I didn't park all the way down to the end of the creek, but I'm not fussed if I miss those. Maybe something cool along the way, but yeah. No, I still got my eye on the main prize, and that's all that really matters. Let's see if I could try and find my way around this. Forest. Love a good pine forest, love the smell. Pick 
have to go through this way, make my way down. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Gotta make sure not to make too much noise because people still might be able to hear me. Hmm. This opens up nicely. This is new. There's all this. Okay. So, found something pretty cool. Just after I said I probably wasn't going to find anything else aside from the tunnel. And that's uh, this giant structure. It spreads all the way around. So I know I must be getting close. What the structure was for, I'm not sure. But I've got a good feeling. Someone else has been here. Yeah, I've got a good feeling now. Yeah, so right now, I have no idea what this was used for. Surely not a pool. It's not too far out of the question. Up and over. If anyone knows what this could be, please let me know, because I'm actually very curious. Square. This is definitely intriguing me. It's more some of that terracotta pipe. So something must have been flowing through here to get into those giant squares. It may have been a pool. <clears throat> oh, why is this hurt? Why do I do this to myself? So after getting trapped in all that, I managed to make my way back and over. So I found another path, hopefully this leads straight to. And 
on, this looks interesting. Ah, oh, some of that ye ass old piping. Ooh, it's man. And uh, an iron ring. I don't know what this is though. That looks very interesting. This looks very interesting. I think I may be standing on an old iron plate. It's hard to stay, clearly. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Piping, some stone walls. What was this place? Ooh, I found something I like. More brick wall. Aha. Uh -huh. An old building, eh? I have no idea what this is for. I think I have a break in here. I think I'm really close now. That's a nice little resting spot for the adventure. Have you seen this? Yeah, I'm definitely getting close. Some pretty tricky terrain. That's 
brought. It's almost like it's chalk. Is it chalk? How does one get chalk? Wrong answers only. Do you mind the chalk? Big backpack. actually did it after months of research I actually did it Holy shit, this is phenomenal. I gotta, I gotta snap this. Woo! <laughs> okay, so Jim's Herberg's definitely found a hidden gem. And uh, no wonder why I want to keep it a secret. I could just imagine everyone and the mother wanting to come in here. Now I've got one torch for me, but I don't think that's going to do justice. I'm getting the whole scope of everything. So I've got something that has a bit more of a spark, if you know what I mean. All right, it's going to be a bit of a tricky view. See how we go, eh? Cool. Come on! Now it's dark in here. Gonna have to... Oh, I've made a bit of a smoke. Oh. 
Okay. That's a lot of smoke. I gotta get out of here. Okay. Let's just had it over there. Let's get out before I can't do shit. So, for some time, I've been walking away from these adventures with a sense of emptiness. But it wasn't until now where I felt like I had truly achieved something. I mean, the outcome of finding a location like this after months of research and navigating through rough terrain, all while being unsure whether it would actually be there, was pretty rewarding. But I realised that if I want to keep this feeling alive, I need to step up and away from going into vandalised abandoned buildings and start exploring some places out there that are worthwhile and that I can look back on and be as proud as I am in this video. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.